All right, I'm gonna talk about what you should do and don't. So do's and don't of uh, living in your car or minivan or a uh, converter van, camper van. You know what I really like? I like one of them. So never mind. Let me start all over. Um, the best car, the best truck that you should get if you want to live in your car. It's the uh, it's either a Mercedes Sprinter van or Ford Transit or Ram Dodge Ram uh, Promaster with the high roof because it allow you to um, they allow you to stand up and you can put anything in there. You can put a portable toilet. It's about eight hundred bucks if you want to buy one online. You can go to uh, Amazon, eBay, Walmart, or any online store might have it it's a portable uh toilet it separates the waste from the water so you can go and dump it so every week you can just take it to uh the waste facility this one in every city so you have to look it up and you just go there like some city will charge you a certain fee but some other it's like free so yeah that's that's the best thing is to have a portable toilet put it in your high roof van but if you don't have any of those three van, you know, high roof such as Ford Transit, Dodge Pro Master, um, Mercedes Sprinter. See what I live in now is a minivan. This is good for me. Uh, it allow me to I can go sleep in the back. See, I remove the, the seat and I fold the rear seat down, and I remove the middle seat. So um, it allow me to sleep perfectly flat extend my legs all the way I can move there's so much room in there um, all right let me let me go into the do's and don't all right I'm, I'm gonna give you a three ups and three downs so three ups is the do's and three don'ts what you should do is um pull next to a to a park or any area next to a park so that you can use the toilet if you don't have a affordable toilet like for instance right now I'm at a Martin Luther King Park here in Long Beach, right here next to a Long Beach City College, the Pacific Coast Campus, right here on a PCH and a Orange Street. There's a park right here next to me on my right. Uh, that park is open. The restroom is open 24/7, so if I need to take a shit, I just go there. <laughs> if I need to, to shave, I go there. I that, that's what I do. I, I go there to uh, brush my teeth. In the morning, and then I just go to the take a dump. <laughs> There's no other nice way to say it. And then when I shower, I just go to uh, my family's house, right around the corner. I grew up here myself, so I know this area well. All right, the dudes. That's one dude. Use the toilet. Use the public restroom. Uh, another dude is uh, you wanna you wanna lay low. You wanna keep it quiet. You want to make the place look nicer than the last time, cleaner than the last time that you were here. So if you park in an area where this dirty, looks like a filthy, looks like trash all over the floor. Like yesterday, I just, or two days ago, I just swapped, sweep up the street here on my section. I sweep up around my car area. I make it cleaner than the last time. I took out the trash. There's a trash bin over there in that park. So I, I had a broom and a shovel and a and a dust patty and I just brush up all the trash and then put them in the trash bin in the park so that's the second dude so the third dude is uh you you wanna you wanna keep it quiet no matter where you go so even if I park I don't have to park next to a park I can just park next to um any other residential area you wanna keep it low keep it quiet Keep it low, keep it quiet, keep it stealth, and keep it clean. So that's my three do's. Okay, I'm talking about my uh, four, four don'ts. What you should not do is make a mess in that area. So no matter where you park, don't trash that area. That's a no-go. Because if you do, you're going to alert unwanted attention from the police, from the neighborhood, from anybody that just walked by. So you're going to act that you're gonna go that route don't even bother living your car man you're gonna become a suspect you're gonna become a suspect 
Okay, and all I do is, people like to say this a lot, but um, you should never park in the same place more than one night or two night max. So more than one night. Yeah, so you always want to move around. So right now in a park, right, my suggestion is park one night on the same street and then the other night move to the other side. So you got four corners, right, on every park. Usually like a, a, a block, it's a square, so it has four sided, right? You want to park on one side, side A, whatever you call it, north side, south side. So pick north side, side A, and then pick on side B, and then the next night move on to side C, and then the fourth night move on to side D. That's how it goes. But as for me, I, I grew up here in Long Beach, so I know this area well. And um, the police drove by, but so far they haven't pulled me over. Or they haven't knocked on my door. Maybe they don't think that I live in my car. But I'm going to stay low, stay quiet, and stay alive. You know, be stealth. Just like Big Boss, Metal Solid Gear, Phantom Pain, Phantom Menace. Yeah, the Phantom Pain, Part 5. Yeah, you want to be stealth no matter where you go. So, uh, I think that's my first, first dunk. All right, another thing you uh, you should not do is um, don't be loud. You know, don't don't be loud. Like anything, you want to play music, keep it low. Uh, you you have a uh, somebody living you in this this van. Is don't be loud. You know, you want to minimize everything. Minimize your footprint. Minimize your present. Like you live there, but nobody knows that you're there. That's the that's the stealth part. So be calm, cool, nice clean uh no loud music and you should be good i think that's my second don't so the third one is um don't go and pick a fight with anybody don't get into trouble and don't attract the police and that's all i gotta say uh how to deal with the police um i haven't encountered one so i don't know now if they do come knock on my door and all that the worst thing they can do is give you a ticket now, if they're being nice to you, then they probably tell you that, hey, you got to move your car. If you're homeless, you cannot sleep here. Just move your car. Just just do what they say and just move to a different spot, but not around here. To the place where they never find you. So go to like two or three blocks down or two or three miles away from here. And then park there and then be stealth, you know. Keep it quiet. Keep it nice. Keep it clean. That's what you should do. Uh, yeah, I've been sleeping in this car for about... I don't know, two, three weeks now. Yeah, no more than that, like three to four weeks, about a month now, maybe two months. And um, so far, you know, I haven't got pulled over. Nobody, no police come, uh, came and knocked on my door, say, "Hey, move your car." And uh, yeah, life is is boring. But oh, how how do I speed up time when I live in my car? Is I read books, man. I read I read like three or uh, four books a week, sixteen books a month, about one hundred ninety two a year. So that will be my lifestyle. What kind of books do I read? I break it up to three categories. One is investment. Two is millionaire mindset, and then the third one will be something related to like finance, accounting, uh, sales, marketing, anything related to my uh, job or the job that I like that I want to do, like open up a business. You know, I have a lot of ideas in my head, but because I'm, I don't have the capital, I'm limited on that, and uh, there's no way for me to open anything, man, right now. And uh, because of the pandemic, every place that you want to go and do your research, even start a business plan is closed. Like for instance, the public library, here in uh, Los Angeles County, they're all closed. You can't even go inside to use their Wi-Fi. They won't let you unless you're a resident here and get with the library card. That's a violation because um, federal tax is going to the public library. And uh, if you take all, every public entity that takes public money, taxpayer money, must allow public access. Regardless, they're coming out from a state or not, from a different state or not. But that's because this is a... Freaking liberal shit, man. Like, this whole county, this whole state is liberal as hell. Unless you go to Orange County, they're more conservative over there. So, this is the, the books that I read. It's a category. This is investment, it looks like. So, 
So, uh, the only investment guy you ever need by Andrew to P to to bias to be us. Anyway, I'll just read this. But uh, the other book, the first book that I read on investment is the other book back there, uh, right there. I think this is the book best to get if you ever get it. It's called Twenty Four Essential Lesson. Twenty Four Essential Lesson on Investment Strategy or Investment Success by William J. O'Neill. So get it. That's the best book. So anyway, uh, I try to go for four books a week. So to kill time, just read books. That's what I did when I was deployed to uh, OEF, you know, uh, Operation Enduring Freedom 2015-16 with the Texas National Guard. Uh, I did two things over there to speed everything's up. Even when I was working, uh, my MOS. Um, yeah, I just read books, man. Like every day I pick a book and read, read. And everything's speed up. Like time goes by real quick. Same thing me sitting here. I think it's about 5 p.m. right now. Or 1700. Yeah, 1700. Uh, time speed up just simply by reading. I can read uh, this whole book. It looks thick though. I can read this one book in one sitting in about. I don't know how long, six to eight, eight hours, so six to eight hours a day. So reading a book is like equivalent of going to school, equivalent of listening to a lecture. So yeah, you know, exercise your mind. Just like you exercise your body to stay fitness, health, wealth, get muscle, look all ripped, shredded. You gotta exercise your brain, you know. And there go the police just drove by. And that's it for tonight.